garb amin allahu akbar because i'm represent the fara state mashallah i represent the fara state and that i need to send message to dauda lawal diri dauda lawal diri itaqillaha dauda lawal diri itaqillaha itaqillaha as from today as from today we need to zaman lafia in zamfara state Haiti is not continue to Zamalahia. Peace is very important of you because totally if you continue to look at the eastern west Africa you see Sulu is very important for me. After that I need to send message to commissioner of defense Tukur Usman Gusau he is the one of the send the airplane to come bush to bombing and bandri but bandit zuman is not good come we know what to be like that be 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 come if you are see the fulani 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 the nigeria all is the house of fulani not the one travel travel you you can see the group for instance look at Last week, the Glenty group to come my area to follow my cow and sheep to go. There is no reason here. Now that Lord Dere, you take the laha. Now that Lord Dere, you take the laha. You are the leader of Nigeria, Zamfara State. In terms of my Zamfara State. So, if you are need to continue to lead Zamfara State very well, no be, no, no be problem. So just come and call the Fulani, the Kachalas, to come to meet them. If the Fulani are need the something, the benefit of these are bandits in Zamfara State. They are calling for a truce. They are laying down their weapons. What they are saying there is that they don't want to continue to be in the bush anymore. They don't want to continue with their criminal activities anymore. And they are calling on the government to listen to them to accept them back into the society so they are tired of their criminal activities while watching this video i was particularly interested in 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 what they were holding look at the guns these guys are carrying how were they able to have access to these guns guns are not legalized in nigeria so how did these guys get this gun it brings you to just one scenario and that is a fact that there are people that are sponsoring these guys and the people sponsoring these guys are not ordinary people because it will take someone that has leg that has power in government to to bring in gun into this country i remember uh, an investigative ju journalism that was conducted by Fis by my fisayo sorimbo that indicted ib ibb dende he said this guy is a gun runner. He smuggled gun into the country. And who is IBB Dende? He's a friend to the president. IBB Dende was equally seen taking pictures with President Bola Metinibu. And today, as I'm talking to you, nothing whatsoever has been done regarding that investigation. The police has not invited IBB Dende. EFCC have not invited him. Okay, let's leave here. The DSS have not invited him. That man is still working freely. But the man that did the investigation, Fisayo Soyumbo, was invited and declared wanted by the police. Look at what these men are carrying. Look at the caliber of guns they are carrying. And these are just one set of groups that are terrorizing Zamfara State. Zamfara State has been plagued with so much insecurity for the past years. The madness of banditry in Zamfara State. For the past years and these sets are calling for truth they want to lay down their weapon and they are asking for the government to give them amnesty it is a trap it is a trap because once amnesty is given to these guys another sect will come up another sect will come up and this begs the question don't we have intelligence in this country don't we have an intelligence unit 
through this video can't these guys be spotted where they are in these videos like sometimes i just tend to imagine how criminality thrives in this country how people will post video in this country bandits are now on tiktok they make videos and post on tiktok you saw a video the other day of a bandit playing with a foreigner that walks that repair the road how are these guys able to do this thing and they go scot free without no one apprehending them how now what is the work of the bandage the bandit what are what what exactly is their contribution to the economy a lot of persons tend to talk about um, amnesty because the niger the tanks were given amnesty the niger that they have oil here that is being controlled in their state they were really not killing people all they want was a total control of the oil and they were chasing away expatriates out of their land they have a legitimate fight what exactly are these bandits fighting for they have been killing indiscriminately they have been kidnapping indiscriminately raping people and destroying people farmland what exactly is their contribution that they are calling for amnesty this is how we enable crime in our society since i grew up knowing things that i've been hearing about i've been hearing about boko haram from there in an in, in an grew to bad to banditry full of his men is it that there is no end to this calamity? Is it that there is no end to this siege that these people has plagued this country in? Is it that there is no end to it? Why do we keep harboring criminals? Are you trying to tell me that the Nigerian security apparatus system is so weak that these guys cannot be spotted? Of course they are weak. Because for these people to successfully make this video with so much effrontery, it shows you how dead and weak our security institution is. Just yesterday, the Nigerian police arrested somebody, a DJ, YSEF Mule, a DJ commissioner. And they came up and gave a wrong name. Did they switch? Isn't that, isn't that, doesn't that show you how, how incompetent this arm of government is? EFC the other day went to effect an arrest on the former governor of Kogi State, Yaya Belu. And they could not arrest him. They could not arrest him. But when it comes to innocent to, 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 to civilians that are going about their, their daily their, their daily bread, these are the people that they flex their muscles on. It shows you how weak our institution have become over the years. For a former governor to invade arrest and a present governor will come to, come to rescue him comfortably. The level of impunity in this country is so alarming. It's so alarming and it's so painful. That we are all watching how the whole institution in this country is being destroyed. You all remember when EFC was inaugurated, how powerful they were. You all remember how powerful the Nigerian military were. You all remember how powerful the Nigerian police were. You all remember. But today, they've become a shadow of their old selves. They've become pounds in the, in the arms of politicians that are being used to hunt their fellow, their, their fellow politicians. If not, tell me why with all the security apparatus we have in this country, these people, these criminals cannot be arrested. They cannot be apprehended. Where? I'm expecting and I'm sure the Zamfara state government is going to grant them amnesty because that is what they are calling for. And when they grant them amnesty, they will be reintegrated right into the society. And after they are integrated right into the society, then the military will not, will not absorb them into the military. And then you will, not, you, you will not be complaining that the military is weak. Why won't they be weak? When we have criminals that are not being absorbed into the military. Is what and I don't really know what to say because Nigerians are so comfortable and they are watching this chariot and they are watching it. Thank you for watching. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Please like, subscribe, and drop your comment reaction in the comment box.